Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to surf the web anonymously without Uncle Google tracking your habits. Obviously we know that Google tracks all of your information in order to make you a product that is available to their advertisers. Gathering your personal information means that they can get a better profile of you that they can then sell to their advertisers so that ads can be targeted to you. But the challenging thing is Google does an awfully good job as far as a browser, as far as a search engine and with Google Docs and their whole assortment of Google things like Google Chromebooks and Chrome and all of that, it just puts together a perfect picture for more people to use Google as their preferred search engine. But there are some of you out there that are watching this probably did a Google search to find out how to stay safe from Google. So we're going to talk about different methods, search engines and browsers that you can use in order to make sure that you are staying safe from the prying eye of Uncle Google. So let's get started with a search engine that is pretty interesting. But there is an underlying thing with all of these search engines that I want you to pay attention to that maybe there's no escape at all. So let's talk about Echo Sia. I think that's how you pronounce that. Don't don't hold me accountable. But anyway, this search engine helps protect the environment because of the method that let's say Ecosia. I think that's right. That they use is that they promise that a portion of their proceeds goes to plant a tree. That is pretty interesting. I wonder how that all works. But anyway, if you're looking to be environmentally sound and want to help Mother Nature, check this browser out. It's pretty cool. Now, one thing that I did notice, they can you can use cookies to accept, but you can't see it. But down where the integral logo is, you can accept. And then you can see down at the bottom, it says cookies help us build trees. We use cookies. I don't know if I want them using my cookies. So anyway, let's uh, give you this option, Echo Sia, to search the web and plant some trees. You can read a little bit more about it by visiting the website at echosia.org. And so they plant in 32 countries. So anyway, I thought that was an interesting concept to think of as far as browsing is concerned and staying away from Uncle Google. Let's take a look at another website that I haven't even heard of. Swiss Cow, the data safe search engine. No tracking, anonymous, family friendly, it says. So with us, you'll find absolute security. Complete privacy is what they say. So you've got several options. You can use Swiss Cows as a browser by going to SwissCows.com. They also have Encrypted email as well. You can log in and set up your own Swiss Cows email, which is private, which is very important to have encrypted email because there are prying eyes, even on Google, looking at your email and finding out all sorts of information about you. That's interesting, but I like the name Swiss Cows. So check it out. Next is Cyrix. Or search X or search X search whatever. Anyway, it looks like Wikipedia, doesn't it? <laughs> you can visit it at search surx.github.io. So it's a free meta search engine. So it's not as pretty. So they get the results from about 70 services. It says it's not tracked or profiled. You can even use it over the Tor browser, which is interesting. So yeah, it's not as pretty, probably won't get the support, but if you're looking for staying anonymous, definitely check out that site. Now one that's a little bit more um, pretty 
would be Start Page. And this is a little bit more popular site. So Start Page is a browser that you can use to search the web anonymously, get privacy protection. You can block cookies, you can do all sorts of stuff. But again, it's another browser that allows you to search without people targeting you. So I don't know how I think about that because there's, I hope you're paying attention to these websites because there's a common theme that they're asking for you to do something on these sites. So our next is the search engine privacy king of all search engine privacies. And that would be DuckDuckGo. They are the grand duck or the grandfather of all browsers or search engines that want you to use them to make sure that your data privacy is private and out of the hands of some large corporation looking to steal your information. So check out DuckDuckGo if you haven't used it already as a search engine. Now next is Quaint, which I think is based out of France. So anyway, zero tracking, zero searches, and there's a theme if you're paying attention to these websites that they want you to do something, but there's Quaint. I don't understand the ad, but okay. Again, promising not to make sure that you're not being turned into a click machine. And one of the things I was gonna mention is I think most of these browsers are available on both your smart devices and on your computer, whether it be a Windows or Macintosh computer. So, And finally, there's Metagur. I think that's right. Anyway, another browser that you can do to, not browser, another search engine that you can use to search and you won't have your information sight on, or stolen or whatever. So now that we have the browsers out of the way as far as using, not browsers, but search engines out of the way as far as keeping safe. And most of these browsers aren't collecting data. But one of the common things, except for Metagur, is let's go back to Ecosia. I want you to pay attention to something. Now, where was it? Oh, look at that. You can add it to Chrome. So you shouldn't let that be a deterrent because it's not only on Ecosia, it's on Swiss Cows. Install Swiss Cows, Google Chrome. SearchX doesn't have it. But start page, you can install it on Chrome. And with DuckDuckGo, you can add it to Chrome. What the heck does that mean? Well, Chrome is a browser that's kind of sort of open source, meaning that you can add different browser extensions to Chrome. So for example, on my browser, there's a browser extension for LinkedIn. So I can click on it and see if there's any alerts. There are other browser extensions such as Adobe and there's a few others, uh, Chrome Remote Desktop. But anyway, these don't feed into Google. It basically just customizes your Google Chrome browser to allow you to use those as search engines. You can also have the option of going into Chrome rather than using Google and make these tools your default search engine. How do you make that happen? I'm gonna talk about that real quick because let's talk about it. So going back to Uncle Google, we're gonna create a new Google search. Once you're there, you need to click on the menu in the upper right hand corner. Once you're there, you wanna click on more tools. And I knew I was gonna get this wrong. Actually, it's settings. So I clicked on settings. If you go to settings, you can click on search engine, and then you have your list of options of different brow or, or engines to use. You can use Google, Yahoo, Bing, Ecosia, and DuckDuckGo. Now keep in mind out of these search engines, 
The ones that are tracking you are going to be Google, Yahoo, and Bing by Microsoft. The final two, Ecosia and DuckDuckGo, are the engines that aren't searching for your data. So even though this video is named how to prevent Google from searching your information, but keep in mind if you use Yahoo or even Bing by Microsoft as a search engine, they are tracking you as well. So how about that? So let's say that, okay, I know I can use another search engine to keep my information safe and secure. What if I don't want to use Google at all? Let's talk about that. There are browsers out there that you can actually download and get away from the whole Google experience. And we are going to start with Opera, which I'm not going to sing any. But Opera is a free open source browser that allows you to surf anonymously without Opera collecting your data. So you could set it as your default browser up here. So that way, whenever you browse, it'll open up Opera. The other good thing Opera offers as a web browser is VPN. If you click a VPN option on Opera, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. That means that you can surf anonymously without anyone seeing what you're looking at on the internet. How about that? So another private browser that doesn't collect your data would be Brave. Now Brave is another web browser that's available for all of your devices, but it's beautiful, as they would say in Indiana Jones, and Brave, which you can get from brave.com, I think that's right, download the browser onto your device and you can browse anonymously with no issues at all. And I know that sounds great, but again, there is a set of you out there that doesn't want to have Google accessing their stuff. Now, before we get to a more popular browser, as far as it's open source, let's talk about Tor browser. Now Tor is mainly geared for searching the dark web. And let's see if I can bring up Tor. I had the browser on the computer. But anyway, here's the website, torproject.org, but browse privately and explore freely. You can download Tor to any device, as you can see. There's Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. So most of the browsers I've talked about, you can download for any device. So I'm gonna download Tor just to have it on the computer, because I kinda need it. And again, you can use Tor as a private browser. That way you don't have Uncle Google looking at your information. Now finally, the browser I wanted to talk about that is kind of open source and doesn't really track you is Firefox. And it's finally popping up. Took it a minute, didn't it? So anyway, there's Firefox with its screen you don't need an account um wow there's a hundred release of firefox which has automatically updated itself but again you can utilize firefox and firefox promises not to collect any of your data so it stands goes to stand that there are a lot of different ways to surf without google checking out your information so use them. Now finally, one thing that you could do to keep your browsing data safe is to use what's called in private or incognito mode. Not necessarily secure secure, but it will meaning that your browser will track or track what you're doing, but websites that you visit will stay anonymous. So how do we start in private mode or incognito mode? Well, Google calls it incognito mode. So what you would do is open up the desktop, go to the menu in Chrome, go to open a new window in incognito mode, and behold, you've gone incognito. So Chrome may scan your information, but it's not gonna save your browsing history 
and it's going to block third-party cookies and that way you can't be tracked when you're surfing on the web all browsers have in private mode let's do another example with let's do edge we've got edge i've got all the browsers on here so if you want it to and it looks like all of them want to be updated because i rarely use them so if you go in edge which is microsoft and go to new and private window it'll bring it up and it says in private browser again not going to stop microsoft from stealing your information or using it but other websites that are trying to collect cookies it'll definitely stop them so there you have it some search engines that you can use some web browsers that you can use in order to make sure that that information that you're looking for online isn't being gathered by uncle google because again google is a tech company but they're also an advertising company trying to placate their customers so that they can get better results on the ads that are targeted to you. So if you're concerned about Google tracking your habits, consider some of those browsers and search engines that I mentioned and help keep your identity low when you're on the web. So if you have comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Love to hear from you. Find out what things you do to try to keep anonymous and questions to me about staying anonymous on the web so regardless where you're watching this video doesn't matter if it's um, youtube or facebook linkedin comment like share the video because i know i'm sharing some good stuff out there that you're getting use out of so you might as well tell your friends and let them enjoy the love too so my goal with technology is to open all of you up to a whole new world of experiences and ideas. I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. Stay under the radar from Uncle Google. And thanks for watching.